If you guys are looking for ways to get cheap modded accounts in GTA 5 Online, make sure you check out Criminal Mods. This is by far the best website on the internet to get modded accounts on GTA 5 Online for PC, PS4, Xbox One, PS3 or Xbox 360. They've got dedicated live support, they've got instant account delivery and a ban warranty so you can never get banned because you've got a ban warranty, you're covered by that. It's a ban lifetime warranty. So, you know, they're a very trustworthy site, they're a very good site, they sell modded accounts. You can get modded accounts for PS4 at really good prices, guys. These are by far some of the best prices you'll ever find for modded accounts, especially for PS4, Xbox One, and PC exclusively. And they also do, you know, account boosts as well, and account boosters are by far you know the best things to go for because you can uh, uh, boost your current account and the best part is they've got services for all consoles so as you can see here ps4 you know account boosters these are very popular and very good to go for because you can literally make you know you can get millions of dollars in boosters you can get rp boosts you know millions of dollars in boosts and they're very cheap very good prices so if you need any of these services make sure you check the first link in the description below for criminal mods but without further ado let's get into the video. You guys read the title and the thumbnail correctly. Everyone wants the Mark II Oppressor in GTA 5 Online right now. This thing only just released and everyone wants it. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get it for absolutely free in GTA 5 Online using this GTA 5 Online money glitch that I've got for you guys. This is 100% solo. It's working guaranteed. This is working for GTA 5 Online at 1.45 just after the new Oppressor has released least the oppressor mark 2 you guys are gonna absolutely love this so make sure you stay tuned to the channel but in any case yo what is going on guys my name is Sam Cram and welcome back to the channel today boys massive GTA 5 money glitch I'm gonna be showing you how to get the mark 2 oppressor for absolutely free so make sure you stay tuned and watch the whole entire video share this out with your friends leave a like right now and if you're new make sure you subscribe to the channel with notifications on for daily GTA 5 money glitches and awesome stuff like this in the near future but as always just before we get started massive shout out to you awesome mother lovers on screen right now who commented hashtag cram squad down below in my last video so massive shout out to you guys and if anyone else wants a possible shout out in my next video feel free to comment hashtag cram squad down below on this video and you might get a possible shout out in my next video. And guys, if you're not already in the Cram Squad, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button with the notification bell icon so you don't miss out on these awesome money glitches that I've got for you. And basically today, we're going to be getting the Mark II Oppressor for absolutely free because we're going to do a GTA 5 money glitch. Now to start this GTA 5 money glitch, what you need to do is you need to have a nightclub. You need to have... Basically, you need to have at least two basements in the nightclub in one of them. So in this case for me in basement three I've got it. I've just got free elegies. Okay now it doesn't have to be full It can just have like a, a couple of them But basically you just want you know the free elegy RH8s in the nightclub So as you can see these are all free cars, okay? And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to basement two in the nightclub and then I'm gonna show you what I've got in basement level two and in basement level 2, what I've got is uh, you have to have one Elegy Retro Custom or at least one Benny's car. And that is the car that we're going to be duplicating and we're going to make millions of dollars and we can get the Mark II Oppressor basically for free because we're duplicating these cars. So as you can see, this Elegy Retro Custom over here, either of them, you know, these are the cars I'm going to be duplicating. These sell for nearly a million dollars each. This glitch is 100% solo and it's super, super easy. And when I say it's super easy, you watch how easy this glitch is. Because literally all you need to do to start the glitch is open up your phone, go to contacts, go to Simeon. As you can see here, you're going to go to Simeon on your contacts list and you're going to call up Simeon and all you're going to do is request a job okay this is this glitch is so so easy guys okay what dialing what you're going to do man? is request job as you can see here no request job and then he'll say yeah sure thing and then you'll get a job okay it'll come up in a minute just above your map there in the in the left hand corner of the screen 
All right, you just got to wait like a couple seconds. Boom, Simeon, mission, one to two players, blow up two. And then to start the glitch, what you got to do is you got to bring up your phone, all right, and walk towards the roller door, okay? So bring up your phone, go to job list, click on Simeon's job, all right, and what you're going to do is you're going to press accept and start Simeon's job. And the second you do that, you're going to press X to exit warehouse. And then it's going to glitch out, okay? Now you're in the mission for Simeon's thing. Then what you're going to do is you're going to press circle to quit. And then you want to confirm that. And then you want to spam up X, up X, up Eps. Like, so up on the D-pad and X button. And then the glitch should work. Now, the first time I missed it, and how I know that is because my mini-map's still there. And the glitch only works if the mini-map isn't there. So... Basically, you might miss out on the first try, but the second try, I did it. So as you can see, you go back to your job list, open up Simeon's mission, accept that, and then accept exit warehouse as soon as possible. And then you load into the job again, press circle. Are you sure you want to quit this job? And the second you press circle, you want to spam up on the D-pad and X, so simultaneously, like real quick, up X, up X. And then as you saw, it literally just leaves you in the garage and then you have no minimap and that is how your 100% sure the glitch has worked, okay? So as you can see, there's no minimap. Now what you gotta do is when there's no minimap, you gotta go over to your vehicle management and then literally we're gonna duplicate the car, okay? You're gonna choose on the car you wanna duplicate. So in this case for me, it's this LG Retro Custom. And then you're gonna press square to select your level and you're gonna go back to level three. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna swap it with one of those free elegies. So you're gonna press X to swap and boom, as you can see there, it says LG Retro Custom. We've just swapped with a free elegy. Yet, as you can see here, it says there's just a plain LG RH8, but it's actually an LG Retro Custom. And that is our duplicated car, guys. We've literally just duplicated okay. the car. Like, super, super easy, super, super fast. Now, there is a few more things we need to do in order to save this car correctly. What you got to do is you got to get in the car and look at the number plate, okay? As you can see, it says 83IXI604, okay? This is the number plate of this car. To make 100% sure that this car has duplicated correctly, when you drive out, what will happen is the number plate will change immediately. As you can see, for me, it changed to 64QW, uh, QWX628, okay? So that is a 100% new plate. That is the plate that just came off that free elegy. And then to save this vehicle, all you gotta do is drive over to your CEO garage, uh, which is literally just up the road for me. And then I'm going to actually sell this vehicle as well to show you guys how much these cars sell for. But as you can see here, we just go into our CEO garage to save this vehicle. So it's going to say, you know, what office garage do you want to go into? I just choose office garage too because that's where I've saved all these so far. Because I've already, I've already duplicated a few of these and that's how I got the Oppressor Mark too. Because I basically got it for free by doing this duplication glitch. Because it's so, so easy, guys. Remember, you may not get it on the first try. It is a bit harder to pull than most glitches, but it's super easy, okay? In any case, once you get in the office garage, all right, you'll obviously get kicked from the car, but then you get back in. You press right on the D-pad to go to your mod shop. So, as you can see, it's going to go into our mod shop in just a second. Anis LG Retro Custom, so obviously it recognizes it as an LG Retro Custom now. And then what you got to do is just go to your plates, so as you can see here, plates. And you're just going to change the color, okay? You can literally just change the color from blue to black, from black to white. You can just change it to whatever you want. That's literally all you have to do, and now this car is permanently saved in your garage. So from here, what you can do is you can leave and then go and duplicate another one. But in this case, for me, what I did was I actually exited to the ground. So if you wanted to go do this an another time, okay, what you could do is you just leave it in your garage, go back to your nightclub, and then obviously um, duplicate it again in the nightclub. But in this case, for me, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to LS Customs and show you how much these cars actually sell for because it is insane, dude, okay? Literally, you watch this, all right? As you can see, we're basically, we're just about to arrive to LS Customs. So you drive into LS Customs and you watch how much these sell for, guys. The money is really good, okay? As you can see, NLC, NLC Elegy Retro Custom sell $823,235. And that was completely duplicated. That was a duplicated car. So what we're going to do is we're going to sell that vehicle. That money's going to go straight into our bank, as you can see in the top right-hand corner. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to call up the mechanic just to prove to you guys that that was 100% legit and that was a duplicated car. Because as you can see here, if we go to our office, uh, to our nightclub garage basement two, we've still got one Elegy Retro Custom because that's the one that we um, that we didn't duplicate. And then we've got the dupe, the original one in. 
garage number three because that's the one that we had to swap with the duplicated one. So we've still got the two Elegy Retro right, Customs that we started away. with originally and we just sold one and that's literally the duplication glitch guys. Now remember when you do that thing where you back out and then you press you spam up and X it may take a few tries. Remember you can do this on Xbox as well so it's up and A if you're on Xbox or it's up and X if you're on PlayStation. Now it does take a few tries. I managed to get it on the second try but it may take a few tries but guys I guarantee 100% this works, okay, it's working legit, and basically what you can do is, you can do these duplication glitches and then sell the Elegy Retro Customs, and then get yourself a Mark II Oppressor basically for free in GTA 5 Online. So make sure you share around this money glitch as much as possible, share it with all your friends, make sure you leave a like on the video to get this video out there in the community. Get it out there in the GTA 5 money glitch community, you know. Make sure people know about this GTA 5 money glitch before it gets patched, obviously. But, you know, guys, I just think it's absolutely amazing that this glitch works, that we can all enjoy the money while it's rolling in, basically. And this is 100% solo, too, which is absolutely great. So, yeah. Now, one quick reminder. When you sell the LG Retro Customs, only sell one every 45 minutes and sell a maximum of six per day. Otherwise, you will be um, caught for dupe detection and stuff and you'll reach daily sell, sell limits so just make sure you only sell six cars at max a day and every 45 minutes but in any case guys thank you so much for watching and until next time my name is Sam Cram. have fun making money and I'll see you guys in the next video